Hi, I'm Adam Fajani, UK and Ireland Marketing Manager for Ornamentals. We're here today on Thompson's Farm in the Isle of Wight to look at containerised Christmas trees and how we're working with the farm manager, Peter Alexander, to grow them in a more sustainable way using Levington Advanced Solutions. So ICL uh, initially supplied compost for our nurseries and uh, when I was a manager there, that's when I first came in uh, contact with ICL. When we initially brought the farm a number of years ago, we were using different fertilisers. The two reps came down and there was discussion of a controlled pellet fertiliser and we started trialling that. I'm Steve Chapman, Technical Area Sales Manager for the South East. I took over the Thompson's account five years ago and I've been helping them transition away from peat-based and more into a sustainable growing media. The initial changes was um, adding uh, an extra wetter, increasing the length of the uh, slow controlled pellet. I do believe we're pretty, pretty much there but there may be just one or two tweaks and the only tweak that I can think of is changing the pH of the growing medium. So certainly there's a lot of challenges when we're trying to look at peat free and trying to have a lower pH. Peat free raw materials are naturally higher in um, pH and so trying to acidify them can be difficult because a lot of those products that we would use to acidify can actually add conductivity um, to the growing media which is obviously counterproductive for the plant so we have to make sure that we're not adding too much um, of these products to acidify it too, too far whilst causing damage to the newly emerging roots. So understanding Peter's requirements for the plant and what he would like to get out of it we then start to look at the structure of the growing media by using different structures we can create different mixes more air field porosity maybe water holding capacity then after that, we're also then looking at the characteristics for the plant. So with a Christmas tree, they're going to prefer a slightly lower pH, and that can sometimes be difficult with some of the raw materials we have for peat-free. So then we'll be looking at products that might help to acidify the growing media. And then once we're kind of sure what we've got with the raw materials and we've got the right base, we're then going to look at fertilisers and how we can then get the longevity needed for the crop. So with this one in particular, it's potted from an open ground transplant which we're then going to keep in the pot for about a year before we then pot it on so a 12 to 14 month is perfect for these crops. Peat free growing media naturally leaches more nutrition from it so we need to be sure that we're putting in longer term nitrogens to help counteract the breakdown of the wood based products and that nitrogen fixation. We have choices that we can either add a five to six month controlled release nitrogen or a eight to ten week slow release nitrogen. Sometimes the length of the crop they're growing depends on whether or not we will need to use a longer term nitrogen or a shorter term slow release product. We can then also start to look at how we're going to make the growing media hold as much water as possible and want to wet up and so we will be adding H2 grow liquid into the mixes to help with that. Um, so what we have here is a Nordman fir and this is in its fourth season of growing. So uh, we actually receive them from seedlings um, year three and we pot them into this size pot which is a, a long tom, two litre, and grow them on for one year. This is the size that we actually use to plant in the ground. We actually go through and pick out what we think is the best to actually go in container grown trees. The container grown trees are then grown on for three years in a 10 litre pot but this is where we start and this is actually this growing medium is a peat free growing medium and you can see that they're doing pretty well and green no other fertilizer used you've got a healthy root structure from from top to bottom and obviously the uh, the signs of the uh, the white roots and the way that they're growing emphasizes the quality of the plant that you can see. So transition away from peat can be difficult. We'll be trying to make our peat free grow media to act as much as possible like the traditional peat based mixes. 
as that's where a lot of the knowledge is already with these growers. The initial first year and with the growing medium we, we don't add any other fertilizers. Year two and year three and I'm actually standing in amongst um, trees that uh, we're in year three now. We do add two or three applications of the Osmocote top dress which seems to do the trick. I mean, it is an excellent product. Um, you've obviously got that gel action which stops it from being washed off the top of the pot and seems to suit our situations out here. There's always been a lot of fears about transition away from peat but I think as you can see from the crops behind me that there should be no fears with moving to peat free.